Hello. Now then. Hello. Welcome to the Master Cast, episode 47 of the Monoblog podcast, hosted by yours truly, Master Dan, where I come on here, I just talk at you, the listener, about what the fuck I've been up to. That's it, really. Yeah. Yeah. Gigs, music, video games, all that sort of shit. Just what the hell has been happening. Uh, yeah. Hope you were doing well. Hope you are doing well. Hope you're doing well on the Friday that this comes out. Fucking hell, I wish the weather would warm up a bit. It's fucking freezing now. Are you having my life? Is this weather having my life? I know I like to complain about it at the beginning of the podcast. And you're getting it again. Because it's crap. It's it's crippity crippity crap crap crappiola crappioli is what the weather is right now. Like ugh, it's it's depressing, man. It's not looking too decent for download either. I know it's early, but looking at the weather forecast, it's saying it's gonna rain on the weekend and I'm fucking furious. Oh well, it is what it is. I'll just get me fucking waterproofs. Pack shall I? Anyways. Apart from that, hope you're doing well. Hope you are doing very, very well. Um, I haven't really been up to much, really, over the week. Went to a gig. I know, a couple of gigs, actually. And uh, met up with some friends and stuff like that for a christening and shit. Been Twitch streaming. Been doing a lot of Twitching. Not actual Twitching. Been Twitch streaming. <laughs> Fuck sakes. Uh, yeah, did one... Um, I think I did a couple... Over the last week. I did a drum stream. Which was good fun. Um, I'm terrible at drums. But like. It was good fun. Had a few people watching. And uh, the last stream I did was a uh, guitar one. And that was awesome. I was I was streaming for about two hours. And um, had a few new followers in the, uh, the stream. And I went to raid someone as well. This dude called Starcomer. Who was also like doing like a guitar stream. And then like he was telling everyone to follow me. And I got a few followers from that. So. Yeah, back in full swing with uh, Twitch and all that, it's it's fucking awesome. It's fucking awesome to be really back into it again. I'm going to be doing it tonight as well. I mean, obviously, as you're listening to it now, I'll have already done it. But hopefully, it's a good one. It's a good one. I apologize. I'm a bit tired. Um, I've just woke up from a last night shift. I'm on my four days off now. Um, so, yeah, I've just woke up. Um, but I've got a cup of tea with me. So, hopefully, that'll give me the energy. But yeah, I went to a couple of gigs. Um, I'll, I'll talk about the little one. Um, I went to like a little Battle of the Bands thing um, at a venue in Newcastle called Wonderbar. Um, good old friend of the family, like uh, her, her band um, Ocean Floor were playing Newcastle. And uh, there was about four other bands, I think. It was like a Battle of the Bands type thing to play at Hardwick. And uh, yeah, it was it was canny. It was, it was quite good. Um, the first time I've seen her band Ocean Floor it was really really good um, they're a good band uh, highly recommend them um, they're called Ocean Floor they've got a new single out called Jenny which is an absolute banger to be honest um, but yeah um, they're awesome they're awesome give them a listen they're all, all the music's on streaming services like they've got uh, they've got Instagram they've got Facebook and all that sort of shit and yeah give them a give them a follow on all that just uh, support the good bands man Support the good up and coming bands. They're great. They're really, really great. Uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of leaning into more Deftones territory, which is nice. And Alice in Chains. So, yeah, that's what they were saying um, on the band announcement thing um, when they were getting introduced on stage uh, the other night. So, I was like, ooh, nice. So, yeah, they're really good. They're, they're quite grungy. Um, I will say that. Yeah, give them a listen, give them a follow. Much love to Ocean Floor. And uh, the big one I went to, holy shit balls! I went to see Tool at Manchester AO Arena, and uh, that was on Saturday night, I believe. Yeah, Saturday last week, just gone. Um, yeah, me and my dad went to go see Tool at the arena, one of my favorite bands. Uh, it was fucking incredible. It was amazing. Absolutely sublime. Uh, I've seen Tool before, about five years ago, when the headline download, um, 2019. And that is like 
one of the greatest headline sets I've ever seen. Um, but this was like the first time I get to see two at the Royal Headline Show. Like, it does in the dark, in the arena and stuff. And um, it was something I've been wanting to see for a while, ever since I've seen them at download. Because I was like, they were so good at download. I thought, I wonder what their headline show is going to be like. So, finally got the opportunity to see them. And, uh, my God, it was incredible. It was absolutely amazing. They are like a fucking metal Pink Floyd. At the level they're at. It's insane. Um, the fucking... They just had like all these screens like surrounding them. There was like a screen like underneath the drum kit, like like underneath like all the cabs and stuff like that. I've got all these fucking mad trippy visuals. They're all sort of like um, human anatomy, astrology, trippy looking faces, that sort of thing. Um, but it like that look like like intertwined so well with the music and the, the light show was amazing there was lasers uh like there was a bit of confetti that happened as well later on during the set during flood uh it was so fucking incredible man like uh, the band themselves are just such a tight unit the sound was absolutely perfect like that for a four piece like they pack such a punch when it comes to play live, like they sound absolutely massive and gargantuan. Like one guitar player, like Adam Adam Jones, just the one guitar player. But he sounds like it sounds like there's three guitar players in the room. Like it sounds huge, um, amazing. Like it, it was just so good. Midnight James Keenan sounded really great live as well. Danny Carey pulled off like what looked like the smartest drum solo I've ever seen. In like forever, like incredible, like he's he, he did his like a uh, chocolate drip drip um drum solo, but like right behind him, like he had this bit of kit. I don't. It was looked like some sort of synthesizer, like modular type thing, like where he like set up like this um this backing uh track thing. Uh, but you know it, it was like it was like a drum loop, not not really a backing track. Uh, it was like a like a loop, like a modular loop. It was like he was like he was like he was making it up on the fly as well. He was like fucking around, like twisting some dials, like swapping some cables around and shit like that. And he eventually came up with like this really cool loop, and he started jamming over the top of that. It was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. And like he doesn't just do that. He like he plays like like synth as well. He was playing like the synth solo at one point, like behind him, and it's like a. Uh, it's so weird looking. It's like this big, massive sort of curved keyboard, like situated behind him, and then like he's hitting these keys like with these sticks, like, and it sounds incredible. And Justin Chancellor on the bass, hell of a bass player, sounds awesome. Like, just very, 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 uh, very clear, very punchy sounding, just awesome. Like, such clarity. Like, you can just hear everything. Sounded amazing. Yeah, the, the, the set list was incredible. It was like 11 songs, but it was like a two hour gig, something like that. Like, it just went by so quick. It was two hours, but like, they had, um, like, I think they played about seven songs and then they had like a 12 minute interval. And, uh, they were back on for the drum solo and did a few more songs. Um, but yeah, amazing. Like, opened up with Jambi, um, Played a bunch of Fear Inoculum stuff, which I've not heard live yet. Um, like, a download, they played, like, two songs, that, which hadn't even been released yet. It was Ascending and Invincible. And, um... What's it called? Descending. I can't remember what it's called. Um... I think it's called Descending. Oh, it's called Ascending. I can't remember. It's one of the two. Never mind. Uh, but, yeah, like... It was cool, because the way they did the set list was, like... They do like an old song, then a song from Fear Inoculum, then an old song, then a Fear Inoculum, like etc. That's that's how they do it. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was fucking amazing. Like Rosetta stoned, like uh, absolutely flawed me. And um, what what else did they fucking play? Like just every song was incredible. Like a couple of songs from Undertow, like Intolerance and Flood. Um, they finished on Anima. The Grudge was incredible. 
God, like, it was just, like, after every song, I was just turning to my dad, like, uh, what? Whoa! And, like, I was just, like, I was just sat there with my jaw on the floor throughout the whole fucking thing, like, it was so, so amazing. And what, what, it, what was really nice as well, it just felt like I was present at a concert, like, 20 years ago, something like that, because, there was no mobile phones in sight. Um, they had a policy of um, anybody using the mobile phone for videos or using the camera or anything like that. Like at the very beginning, like after they played um, Jambi when they opened the concert, like um, like Maynard James Keenan was doing a bit of crowd inter like interaction, participation, that sort of thing. Like uh, Manchester makes some noise, that sort of thing. And then he said, right, before we go any further, put your phone in your fucking pocket because, well, we want to stay connected. Stay connected with us. We're on a journey. If you if you can't be on your phone for less than two hours, you need help. You need to see somebody. And like, I, like during during the whole concert, I didn't see a single phone. Like I didn't see a single screen like pop up, uh, like at all. Like just looking around the venue, and there was nothing like that. Nothing like that at all. And like you could just tell that the band aren't playing like backing tracks or anything like that or a click i don't think they're playing the click because like like danny carey is like counting the band in and like they're all looking at each other like making sure they're all cl like clocked in and that sort of thing it's like a big jam like it, it was just it just felt so great and organic like it was so good it was just so so good and like at the at the very last song when the close of the name like that's when Maynard James Keenan turned around and said um right okay you can get your stupid phone out now but don't turn the flash on because we've got plenty of lights on this stage <laughs> but uh yeah it was unbelievable it was absolutely unbelievable like the best gig I've been to all yeah but yeah awesome uh fucking hell you should have seen the match you should have seen the match like I got myself a t-shirt that cost me 35 quid which is kind of kind of the standard now these days i mean you probably pay it at the very least 25 these days um at the very most it's about 40 quid now um but yeah 35 for a tall t-shirt it's a nice t-shirt as well i really like it but like fucking hell some of the other stuff they were selling like a signed fear and vinyl was 450 quid a signed 30th anniversary undertow cd the same price 450 quid that they, they had like um they were selling like the exclusive prints which i kind of wanted but they were just too expensive for my blood like like one of them was like 75 quid and the other one which was signed was 350 like the the felt the, like the the prints are like really good quality as well and it's got like like the uh sort of foil film like awful air type thing um so it's like a proper high quality print um but yeah <laughs> i'm not spending that much money and last but not least though the fucking bass drum skin they had a signed bass drum skin right and it was like the fear inoculum skeleton looking guy on it that was two grand two grand for a fucking bass drum skin like you could buy probably three drum kits for that much but this bass drum skin was two thousand pounds bonkers absolutely bonkers who brings two grand with them and buys a fucking bass drum skin and takes it home it's fucking mental absolutely mental like i mean it's safe like the records like i wouldn't spend that much on anything that's signed ever i wouldn't spend that much on any record it's mad i mean it was just like quite fascinating to see really like all that merch for that much uh but oh well it was still it, it, i still got a t-shirt i was like yeah i don't need anything else <laughs> but anyways tool were absolutely just fucking incredible like that's it's gonna take some doing to beat that uh for the uh, uh that that's just one of the best gigs i've ever been to um but yeah that was it tool um not really got much more music to go on about really uh i haven't listened to anything new uh this week because i'll be honest i've listened to nothing but tool and uh 
Download Festival is approaching us, and um, I've been listening to bands for download, really, just sort of like get myself hyped for the festival and stuff. Um, but yeah, um, it's fucking mad. I think yeah, there's there's been a couple of tour announcements. I will sort of uh, shout them out. Uh, See you, Space Cowboy. I've just announced a UK and European tour, and who have they got to support? Uh, let me have a look. With uh, Killing Me Softly and uh, Born Flower. I have no idea who any of those bands are. And um, yeah, See You Space Cowboy, a band who I've uh, raved about on the podcast before. Their album, Cup of Grace, which came out um, a couple of months ago, is fantastic. Do listen to that if you haven't. Uh, but yeah, uh, they've announced a UK European tour, and it's a big UK tour this time. Nice one, there's I can see five UK tour dates, and that makes me happy because one of them is at Newcastle, and you better believe I will be there and I will be talking about it um, sometime after I've seen it, no doubt. Uh, but yeah, that's that's very exciting. And also, the Jesus Lizard have announced a new album. And uh, another tour as well. And this is the first album in 25 years uh, from what I've seen. Um, they haven't... Have they got a Facebook page? They have not. Uh, uh, yeah. I know it's on Mike Patton's um, record label, Ibikak Records. Uh, but yeah, the Jesus Lizard. The Jesus Lizard are back. Their brand new album, Rack comes out September 13th and uh, yeah they've got a UK tour announced they've got quite a few dates as well they've got um, seven that'll do uh, one of them is at the Brudenell in Leeds so I think I'm going to go at that one um, I've, I've just started listening to uh, their sort of essential album if you will um, Goat is it called The Goat or is it just called Goat uh, let me have a look. It's on here. It's just called Goat. Uh, the Steve Albini album. Um, but yeah, this is the first um, Jesus Lizard album in 25 years. So um, I'm looking forward to giving this one a listen, actually, because I've been listening to Goat and I've been really, really liking it. Uh, but yeah, awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Um, more Jesus Lizard. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. So. What have we got now? Um, just looking at my notes on my phone. See if I missed anything. Um, PlayStation Network. PlayStation Network. There we go. Uh, there is some new games now that are, I believe they're available now um, on PlayStation Plus. Like the the essential PlayStation Plus monthly gamer um, for new games. If you didn't get a chance to... Uh, Get Red Dead Redemption 2. That's just unlucky, isn't it? Uh, but you have three new ones this month, and I don't think it's all that good. It's SpongeBob SquarePants, Cosmic Shake, um, Streets of Rage 4, and AEW Fight Forever. Pretty weak, pretty weak, pretty, pretty, pretty weak. Um, not, not, not the greatest um, PlayStation Plus... Uh, month really of course playstation plus you get um you get free games like every month and uh yeah this selection is not great uh but yeah um spongebob squarepunk's cosmic shake streets of rage for aew5 forever i mean streets of rage might be pretty fun don't really care for wrestling games these days and spongebob squarepunk's a cosmic shake i've never even heard of this I haven't even heard of it, but like I can't imagine it being like anything incredible. But yeah, um, that's it. That's it for PlayStation Network. Um, yeah, pretty pants, pretty pants set of games like um, for June. Really, um, I wouldn't even be bothered about any, getting any of those. Been playing some Super Mario Galaxy. Been playing a lot more of it. Really fucking digging it, man. I. I don't think I'm too far from finishing it. Um, there is a couple more galaxies to do, I think, and then I think I've finished it. It is becoming like my f probably my favorite 
Mario game at the moment. It's so good. It is so, so good. I love it. Uh, be playing a bit more Princess Peach. And Red Dead Redemption, actually. I've gone back to playing Red Dead Redemption again on me Switch. Um, got the part, um, which I've been t- talking about. I talked about it like a few months ago, and I, like, I kind of stopped playing it. Um, just because I was playing some other shit. Uh, but like Red Dead Redemption, man, is so good. It's so, so good. It's really good on the Switch as well. I highly recommend people getting it. Um, but yeah, I've been playing it on my breaks at work. Uh, it's just really, really good fun. It's awesome. Um, yeah. I've, I've, I think I've, I'm pretty much nearly finished that as well. I've got Dutch. I've, 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 like, Dutch is gone now. Oh, that's not too much of a spoiler if anyone hasn't played um, Red Dead Redemption before. But go play it if you haven't. Um, yeah, Red Dead. Been playing that. Been playing Super Mario Galaxy. I've been on and off with Lost Odyssey as of recent because that is turning into a bit of a grind. Um, like some of the boss battles are getting hard and like you have to just, you know, stop them and grind and like level up and shit. So like I have been a bit on and off with that. I do want to get it finished. I am liking the game as well. Um, I just need to get back to it a bit more just because like you know super mario galaxy is just really good to just switch the wii on and then just get cracking um but yeah that's it really that's it that's all i've been playing that is all i've been playing and we're gonna close out with questions i have one question and it is from the very lovely Haley taylor of course and she asks what are you most looking forward to? A download that is non-musical. Most outlook thing I'm looking forward to about download that is non-musical is the friends, is the mates, it's the banter. That's the thing I look forward to the most every weekend, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it's always about the music download festival. It's always about seeing some bands, whether they're new, old, headliners, that sort of thing. But the thing is, like the thing that makes it for me the most is the is is being there with your friends, your family, um, having a good laugh, having a good drink, having a good barbecue set up around you and your camp, and just um, just good vibes all around. Like that, that for me is what makes it precious. It really does make it precious. Like the the friends you, like you know, the friends you make along the way, and the friends that you you with for every year, pretty much. You know, I've been going to download for ever since 2010. I've only missed it once. I missed it in 2011 and I didn't go to the pilot. But apart from that, I've been to every download since 2010. And, you know, I've been going with my dad the whole time. Um, been going with some other friends who have been going like, like many years. And, um, you know, it's just always great being with that lot. It's always good having a good drink with them. Going in the village... Like, yeah, checking out some of the comedians and, like, eating some food and, like, just looking at all of the attractions and shit like that. It's just good fun. It's just really, really good fun. And, yeah, that, that that's always going to be my um, answer for download. Um, I'm looking forward to the good weather. I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm, like, the weather's going to be good. I don't care what the forecast is going to say. I'm going to say it's going to be really good. Has to be. Has to be. Um... But yeah, yeah, download is just always great. Like in general, like to to, to be honest, like it do, it's starting to get to the point where it doesn't really matter about who's playing. Like as long as like you know we're all we've all got a ticket. That's the main thing. That is the main thing. Oh, fuck hell. sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm tired. Um, <laughs> but yeah, download of course is that is the case. The friendship. Um. But yeah, that is it. Um, that'll do it for today. Bit of a short one. Not a lot of stuff to chat about really this week. Uh, it was just good to chat about Tool and that sort of thing. It was good to let you know that Twitch is going really, really well. Um, if uh, oh, oh, By the way, yeah, the fucking hell goes to show how tired I am. If you want to send questions, do join the Discord in the description below. All linked in there. Um, I do post like about a day or two before I start recording if anyone wants to put questions in I've had to do and uh, same with the Mastodon 92 Instagram um, usually I'll post a story 
uh, letting people know that I'm about to um, record a podcast if they want to get questions in, and people do it that way as well. So yeah, that's uh, that's it for that. Um, hope to see y'all on Twitch. Twitch um, thingy is the Twitch link is in the description as well, and uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get some sort of an episode together for. Um, for next Friday, uh, I mean, I've got download coming up, um, so, and I've got work like, around that, so I've got, you know, got to do the shopping, I've got to do all the uh, packing, that sort of shit, I've got work to do, uh, so I want to just try and get as much done as I can, um, but yeah, I'll try and get something together, um, I don't know what, I, I don't know what will be good, but yeah, um, Anyways, thanks for listening. Much appreciated. Um, take care. Uh, I love you. I'm very tired. I'm really sorry. This is what happens when you finish a night shift and you get a few hours kip and then you record an episode. <laughs> but I hope you didn't mind. Um, I've been Master Dan. Thanks for listening to episode 47 of the podcast. Much love. Take care.